Hello, Erpers. How are we doing? All right. That's what I like to hear. We got a lot of fun ahead of you as we close out uh, Erp Expo 2019. So let me bring out the reason you're all here. Up first, our beloved showrunner, Emily Andrus. Lovely leading lady, Melanie Scrofano. <laughs> Everybody's favorite angel, Dominique Provo Chocolate. Our new sheriff, Catherine Burrell. <laughs> None other than Bobo himself, Michael Eklund. Please welcome Varun Saranga. <laughs> and Megan Heffern. kick things off, uh, up first what I want to do is I want to introduce an ERPA here, uh, Giselle Cruz, who is Petty Officer Second Class in the United States Navy, as she wants to present Navy Challenge Coins to each of our cast members here. Challenge coins, these coins are earned. They are not given away. Now, not all heroes wear a uniform, but in uh, Kat's case, since she does, she gets a very special version of the coin. Now, yeah, there we go. Yes, thank yes. you so much. I'll make sure she gets it. Oh, thank God there's no crack. <laughs> Start with the easy stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Crazy. Yes, come on. <laughs> All right, let's move to some fun stuff here. Not that we won't get emotional at other points, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> I'd love to hear you folks, uh, and this is open to all of you certainly, to talk. I know sometimes folks like to ask, um, you know, a favorite moment here, a biggest moment there, but instead of having to narrow it down, I'd just love to hear each of you maybe share a memory of the show or shooting on the show that just sticks with you and comes back to you over and over. There's a lot. It's a lot of time. Yeah. 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 I, 
I'll start it. I'll start it. Yes, I'll start please. It. No, we're good. Yeah, I just go with what I feel in the moment. And the memory that I have, it was, it's not a scene, It's not, even though I love working with all of you. It's the first day back, you know, when, when well, at least my first day back, you guys are amazing. And so when I, when I come back on the first day, I don't know who I'm gonna see. And so when I step onto that set and you walk into the trailer and I see my coat hanging there, <laughs> And then the first time I get to see you, or I get to see you, or Mel, or Emily, that's my favorite moment of every season, is because wow. we're back. We're back. Like back. And I can't wait. I can't wait to have that moment again. You too. Uh, my favorite moment, I like bittersweet moments, so uh, my favorite moment was when we came back for season three and read the first two episodes, and it was, uh, it was Dolls' death, actually, and all of us, I don't know, the energy in the room was, was just like loving and sad and reminiscent about the history of Winona, and it just all kind of was encapsulated in that like two hour read, and it was one of the most beautiful experiences yeah. I've ever had on the show. Okay, um, so I'm from Alberta. And, <laughs> and when I was a teenager, I was a stand-in on a television show in Edmonton, and I left for Vancouver, and they were like, good luck, you know, you're gonna make it as an actor. And then I, I'm getting very emotional. Um, <laughs> we don't allow that here. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then I, I got the job on Winona, and it was so many of the same crew members I knew as a teenager, and they were just like, oh, they were so happy to see me, you know, that I had made it as an actor. Oh, that's yeah. And it was Sorry. pretty great, yeah. I do think it changes all, like, mm -hmm. I think every season you just have, you, it's like, like collector's coins, like you're like, okay, well, now I have a new one, and now, so I, I, it's such, it's such a hard, I think that's why we're all sort of stumped, is because there's so many, and then you get a new one, and a new one, um, but yeah, I didn't even think to mention the read-throughs, like, oh. there have been some really uh, incredible read-throughs where you just, like, realize what's happening. So basically what happens is we're shooting, we're shooting, lunchtime happens, that's our favorite time, and then, <laughs> and then we go into a trailer together, it's about once every two weeks, and we um, read the next scripts. And um, so that's the first time you get to hear it um, out loud, and just the, the, the fun that we have in those rooms, but also the, um, you know, the surprises or like the, the emotion that can come up is pretty uh, powerful and it's like, that's like the, the birth of the baby. And then <laughs> the placenta falls out and you're like, oh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Day one is the placenta, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Karuna placenta is <laughs> when... <laughs> brought a video. <laughs> um, uh, one of the most like powerful um, moments I would say is probably after I first kissed this lovely lady. <laughs> um, yeah, I just remember going home being like, oh, fuck, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of, do you guys remember at the end of, I don't remember what season it was, but we did a raffle with the crew. Oh, we do yeah. these things called like $5 Fridays where we all put money in and, and then you draw somebody's name. You guys might do it at your works and, um, and, and, and somebody wins like the pot of money. And I remember it was our last one and you were in a floral dress 
and I remember you rolling. They had put it in like a barrel or I was something. Pregnant. And you were pregnant, <laughs> and you were rolling the barrel. And I just remember like looking around the room at all the crew, and we were right. I think it was the end of the season, yeah. and like just how. We, uh, that season had meant so much and we had gone through yeah. so much to keep everything quiet and it was just like looking around at the whole team and everyone was happy and laughing and it was a really nice memory of, of the group oh, all nice. together. Yeah. 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 And the baby was still inside Melanie, which was not for long. <laughs> Two more Everything minutes. It's gone yeah. as planned when it could have all come that apart. That was amazing. Yeah. Four days later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Placenta. <laughs> um, I, I have a lot. I have a lot of amazing memories. I will never forget the first time of walking into the studio and they'd built an entire bar um, called Shorties. I was like, oh my god, this is actually going to happen. It's just like so often something you just write on a page and then. This, I'm totally gonna cry, I'm surprised. Um, <laughs> this whole team of people come together to make it just absolutely perfect and it matters so much. Um, but I'll tell you one that I hope is appropriate. I remember the last scene we shot in season three and it was Dami on the harness as you were taken away into the garden. And every, well, <laughs> except that I remember all our crew was around. I think even though Dom was the last one on set, Tim was there, Mel was there, we're all so supportive, people were there. And I uh, knew, I knew we would be back, so I just didn't pack up my stuff, and I still have stuff in Calgary, and I'm still sure I'm gonna see my ugly ass red parka, <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> So that was a good feeling after third season, being like, oh my god, this is such a thing, and I can't do, make a way to do more of this thing. And put people in more uncomfortable harnesses and throw them around. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think yet, uh, Mel, you haven't had a chance on any of the panels. I think most everyone else has maybe to talk a little bit about the experience of the Erper billboards and what that was like when you first started to see that play out. OK, well, I'm going to start. I thought it was photoshopped. So did I. <laughs> yeah. So did I. Yeah. So I was like, oh, cute. Like, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, like, probably react appropriately <laughs> because I was like, I, uh, I wish I knew Photoshop. <laughs> uh, anyway, back to 90 Day Fiance or whatever. Um, no, I don't watch that. I, I did oh, that. I, I just said that for you. I don't watch it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, and then I, I think some group texts started going around yes. and that were like, can you believe the billboards? And I'm like, I know, crazy what they can do with Photoshop, it's amazing. <laughs> like, and I still was like really like, it was like trudging through sand trying to get my brain to accept. <laughs> like, because I didn't, it, it's unfathomable to me that you would even think to do that. Like, I would just sit on my couch and be like, my show. <laughs> Which I, that's what I did. That's, that's what, what I did. did. <laughs> uh, and uh, so it was a s slow progression. Then when I realized it and I just started seeing the, the quantity, it was just like, um, yeah, it just really taught the meaning of what it looks like to fight for something. And, and you don't have to have, you know, billions of dollars or whatever. Like, you can, you can fight for things that matter to you. Um, and just ha as long as you have the heart behind it, you can get so far in life. Uh, um, yeah, it, it was a real lesson for me. It was, like, incredible. Thank you guys for doing that. Well, let's have a little fun, maybe, to, oh, yeah. to yeah. balance things out here. I don't want to get too deep too quick. Uh, <laughs> um, I'd love to have each of you think about your character on the show and maybe what other TV show you'd just like to see your character go on to. Oh, wow. 
the actual character? Are they an actor? Or are they the character? <laughs> care actor. Probably the care actor, but you know, feel free to improvise. Like, does Winona take acting lessons and then try? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting meta. I, have to <laughs> I don't have a character, but I would really like to see the queer eye guys try to deal with Bobo. Uh, <laughs> so. Like, That's so good. Show, show up in that trailer park and try to get that coat off him. I um, <laughs> feel like that might be the last episode, so. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's good. Um, I think for me, just because I'm obsessed with this show right now and I would love to see Nicole go back in time, I would like to stick her um, where she would be an, another unconventional woman in the time period into Gentleman Jack. Yeah. Show. Do not spoil the finale for me. Do not spoil the finale for me. I'd like to see like Jeremy in every cop show ever because he could easily solve all the crimes because dealing with like demon carcasses yeah. and uh, <laughs> like I don't know all those kind of things are so easy compared to like the the show like the what the shows deal with like on Bones he would solve it it'd be like a ten minute episode. It's so good on Criminal Minds. Yeah, I totally get it. I think so. I think he yeah this is walk in the park for them. That was good too. Yeah. Uh, Winona would be great on Drunk History. That'd be good. I'd pay to see right. that. <laughs> you got one? Should I jump? I got one. Well, jump in. I got one. <laughs> I think it'd be funny to see Beth on um, The Good Place. <laughs> I was gonna say the good place because I'm just obsessed with it, but it's fine. Uh, maybe waves on. Bobby. Okay, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> or Veronica Mars. Or Veronica Mars. How about the Bachelor editor? Oh, I want to change my to the Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck them up! Take your flower. I would get the thinking, highest ratings ever, I think. In reality, TV. <laughs> I can't think of many shows that, like, there's shows that Bobo could like, he would just stand out on so many weird shows. Like you could, th you could throw him in Game of Thrones. Sure. Never seen it. What? Dead. Never seen an episode. What about like the Great British Baking Show? What? Oh, no. <laughs> Is there a revolution happening? Was <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> woo woo woo. <laughs> Vikings. He could be on. Yep. I'm good. I'm good. True blood. True blood. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a, if, uh, if Winona's going on Bachelor, I'm going on Bachelorette. Okay. Oh, I feel like the great British Bake Off for you. <laughs> Good too. Don't have a soggy crust. Do not have a soggy crust. <laughs> oh, oh, worst. <laughs> All right, let's switch over to for you folks individually in, in season. On the most recent season, we we heard quickly that uh, uh, you were talking about how Golden Girls trivia might be something that Nicole could do. I'd be curious for each of you if you got thrust into a trivia contest and had to pick your go-to category. What would be your personal go-to category? As us? yourselves, as yourselves, not your characters. I'm horrible at trivia. <laughs> God, I love trivia so much. <laughs> 
anything. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I love <laughs> dates and history, so history would be good for me. History. 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 Yeah. Am I, is this happening? Come to Vancouver. Okay. She plays trivia every Thursday, right? Yeah. yeah. Every Thursday, trivia. Yeah. I'm coming. Vancouver. Anyone? 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 I only, I only know entertainment questions. That's my go-to. And, and science. I'm a, I'm a science geek. Science. Science and astronomy and uh, entertainment. I hate trivia. <laughs> Okay, I preface this by saying, I'm gonna answer this, but I don't wanna have to start proving myself. <laughs> so don't start quizzing me. <laughs> but Spaceballs trivia. Spaceballs. Probably math for me. Math and <laughs> physics and, uh, no, not those things at all. I don't know if I can, oh, Like oh. maybe I think I would, be good at, this isn't even a category of trivia, but like guess that decade of clothing. <laughs> I'm decent at that. This is a really bizarre skill. Yeah. Mine would have to be all things dance. Because oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. Arts and leisure. Oh, arts and leisure. Oh, that's good. Well, could be some you entertaining stuff. You good at wine owner trivia, Kevin? I might get a couple of questions, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I think we got like a pretty well-rounded team. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the drinks. You're going tour. Yeah. <laughs> um, switching back to your characters, um, if you folks had to, as your characters, deal with the online dating world and create a dating profile, <laughs> <laughs> what three characteristics would you list to describe yourselves? Like characteristics of our personality or things we like to do? Just if you were creating a dating profile, what yeah. do you think would... No help. Kevin would not help <laughs> <laughs> I got mine, I got mine, I got mine. Okay. Um, fiercely loyal. <laughs> That's true. Fiercely. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit crazy. <laughs> and hungry. <laughs> has had sex one and a half times. Rock climbing, mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Cash, mm -hmm. and Pussy Cats. I'm really great in good good at being a good person. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't want to follow any of that. <laughs> I'll go first and then you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is just like, <laughs> after this weekend, the few inflammations. Um, Waves is <laughs> kind. <laughs> no, caring. She pulls a great point. She sings, she dances, she cheerleads. Thanks, yeah. She'll. Thanks, guys. Thanks for helping me out. I love you all. Go to the shotgun. <laughs> yep. Great, yeah, gosh, all of those things, great, <laughs> thanks yeah. guys, yeah, and uh, oh, over to you, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> Loves pussycats. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's not blow jobs without a please. So many notes, so many notes. Whiskey soaked and reckless, yes. Yeah. And my teeth will bite your dick off. That was a reference to the show that you've watched. Michael, did you want to tackle that one? Uh, I'll, I'll go with uh, Love's Jazz. Yes. yes. Very misunderstood. <laughs> and Love's Long Walks on Just the Edge of Purgatory. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> um, Emily. At one of the ERPCONs last year, we had a discussion of uh, potential, you know, like crazy things that could occur since it's a genre show. And one of the ones you actually brought up was the idea of this musical episode thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I, I'd be very curious to hear if after that came out publicly, if there were any, shall we say, backstage discussions about either, oh, you have to do this, or don't you dare do it. <laughs> right, yes, everyone on this panel begged me to do one, and they're all dying to know. <laughs> um, I would love to do a musical episode. I feel like there's been some very famous musical episodes. Buffy, you may have heard of it, and Xena did it, and stuff like that. Um, I signed, where's Alan? I signed his, there he is. I, signed, I, may, I publicly signed Alan's photo saying, I will give you a musical episode in season seven. So <laughs> I feel like that's a legally binding contract, obviously. Um, I would love to do a musical. I would just want to make, I would just want to erp it. So it'd have to be all ACDC or something fun. <laughs> <laughs> they won't sue, right? They'll be fine. Um, I think every, well, no, everybody has said that they're musical, except, God bless, Michael was like. Me? Yeah, you said yeah, you're not, not. I would love to You do. told me once on a panel, you were like, I can't sing. I've changed my mind. The thing's changed You've been taking years. lessons? <laughs> I would love to sing and okay. dance on an herb. Are you okay. crazy? That would be fun. Okay, it's happening. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. You're like, I'll do it. You'll be fine. <laughs> if Michael's, look, Michael's been taking lessons, so get in the game. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We play okay. the spoons or something. Yeah, you can I'll play the washboard them. or the jug. <laughs> I'll play the jug. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy jug. Yeah, exactly. That's in keeping. Yeah. Now, as we all know, Tim isn't here with us at this con. Oh, should, we uh, should we call him? Yeah. Oh, you want to give him a call? Can we try this again? <laughs> Where is he right now? He's definitely watching it. He's definitely watching see, it. He said he's see. watching it on. He said he's watching it? Yeah. Does he know I'm going to call him right now? Now he does. <laughs> watching it live? You have two minutes to put on pants. We're FaceTiming you, Tim. Let's <laughs> see. Michael, you didn't FaceTime me, but it's okay. It's for the best. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Thank you for calling me, Michael. What time is it there? It's 6 o'clock. <laughs> we love you. We love you, Tim. Thank we miss you. you. <laughs> What's going on over there? <laughs> That's it. He's doing the musical episode. <laughs> He's the lead now. Oh, yeah, gone. 
Yeah. He's in South Africa doing something amazing. Yeah. So yeah. I know. Six a.m. I know. He's watching. We love you. You're doing a musical episode, by the way, just so you know. Well, since he couldn't be here, do any of you want to kind of share one of your favorite Michael stories? Mike can be here. Tim? I mean, I'm sorry, Tim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> love to hear that. <laughs> Okay, so I have one that just popped in my head. Tim and I did that uh, crocodile movie in Africa yes. together. And it was a really hard shoot. Like, it was very challenging. It was cold and wet, and it was night shoots, and um, I got a little cranky. <laughs> I, got, I, was, I was cranky. And, uh, and um, the hardest part about being cranky on that set is every time I looked at frickin' Tim, he was the happiest person, <laughs> most positive, amazing man. What a nightmare. Never <laughs> gets mad, never is impatient, is just kind to everyone. And so the great thing about Tim is when you're in a bad mood, he will immediately um, just check. You just check yourself around Tim because he always puts everything into perspective. Yeah. yeah. So it's uh, true. Uh, we always go for, for brunch um, as a group. Ayo. <laughs> and, Very open-minded. Uh, and Tim rose on I think probably without fail, we oh, can all yeah. agree that he always pays the bill. Secretly, always. Always, and he never admits to it. And gosh, what a lesson in just like pure kindness. And he never wants anything back. He just has like all the love to give. Um, and it, yeah, he's just like my inspiration for that reason. I just think he's an incredible human being. I remember, uh, well, Tim was like my first friend on the show. Like he was the first one to like reach out to me and we started going out for breakfast together and then we started doing it every day. Um, and in season three, we both had the same facial hair. So <laughs> when we go out to breakfast, everyone thought that like we were doing a bit. Like why? <laughs> the waiters would always like do a little double take. And then at one point, I like pulled out my flip phone, because at the time, I was having a flip phone, and they were like, oh, these two are drug dealers. And they totally <laughs> started treating us uh, very differently from that point forward. It was really fun. I still got to go. I, I know I've shared this story at the villain panel, but it's, it's the best one I got on Tim. And, it's, it's, and it involves you guys with the, the billboards in New York. Yeah. And, uh, and if you've heard the story before, I apologize, but uh, I was in New York visiting a friend and he calls me up and he's like, are you in New York? And I'm like, yes. He's like, I'm driving up and I've tweeted that you and me are gonna be on the corner of 42nd Street and whatever. <laughs> and he says, be there at seven. And I said, what? You and tweeted then he hung what? Up on you like you just did. <laughs> what was that? I said, and then he probably hung up on you. No, like he's, like, <laughs> he's like, be there. I've tweeted it. We have to be there, and so I did. And I wasn't. I thought it was me and him going to meet for a coffee or something like that. <laughs> and it turned out to be your guys's uh, Earp Square, yeah. and there was like a hundred of you there, <laughs> in the freezing cold. And we showed up, and Tim was there, big smile on his face. You know, he's just, and uh, he, he set that up for you guys. That sh that's that's Tim. That's, that's Tim. And then afterwards, he drove home. That's it. He came, like, how long of a drive is that? 10 hours. 10 hours? 10 hours? Wow. He drove 10 hours. Six. He drove six Not hours. The Not the way Tim drives. Six to 10 hours <laughs> to spend an hour with you guys. That's insane. That's Tim. Yeah. I wouldn't have been there. <laughs> yes, I would. But that's that's the epitome of who Tim is. Tim. Now, most of you had the opportunity to attend different herb cons in different cities around the world, which is just amazing in and of itself. Uh, but do any of you have a thought about where you might like to see an ERPCON take place in the future? Place you'd want to go? <laughs> I, 
I, I, think, I think this question is for the cast. <laughs> We have a lot of Tim's stories. Yeah, I feel guilty I didn't tell him. Yeah. Oh. No, it's just hard to, like, pick one. You know what I mean? It's going to be so mad. Up. Yeah. Also. Um, <laughs> Australia. <laughs> if you guys throw an ERPCON, if you put a sign on your front door that says ERPCON and then tell me to come, I will come. That is the truth <laughs> for me. Um... God, I feel like we've gotten to go so many places. I'd love to go see more of Europe. Oh, I'd love to go to Asia, too. Yeah. Philippines, maybe. I have, a, I have a question. Mexico, I've been Orlando, gone. Australia, I haven't South gone Africa. to as many as you guys, so I can't keep track. But have, have we done a convention in Brazil? Yes. These guys yeah. have. Yeah. Okay. That would be amazing, though. Because those, those supporters are, they, they want us bad. They, yeah, they're amazing. they're amazing. Was it crazy? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Lots of screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's our thing. <laughs> Where have we not gone? Mexico. 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 Really? I'd love to go to I Japan. I'd love to go to Japan and Mexico. I would, then I can go to Asia. Asia? Asia? Asia. Any quick place. Okay. Florida. in Asia. <laughs> everywhere. Honestly, everywhere. It's yeah. just amazing. I want to go to Egypt. Egypt? Oh. Sure. <laughs> do, do they watch ERP in Egypt? Okay, Egypt's my answer. Great. Yeah, no, Asia for sure. Anywhere in Asia would be amazing. You know what would be fun is if we could, I'm just like looking at the rows, if we could just rent a plane and all of us in the same plane go somewhere. Maybe it doesn't even, like a, an island. An <laughs> island. Yeah. Oh my God, somebody get the orange Instagram box. Fire! Yeah, 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 yeah. I miss the. We'll meeting. have our own Herb Fire Festival. Yeah. yeah. Fire Festival. Uh, a yeah. burning herb. Burning herb. <laughs> <laughs> or an Herper cruise. There was talk of an Herper cruise. <laughs> that'd be amazing. Yeah, that'd be amazing. I will put that on. Okay, we'll put it on. <laughs> yeah. 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 Everywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere and everywhere. That's Anywhere. what we got. Yep. yep. Uh, now, without having to get too deep into the memories uh, and all, obviously it has been an amazing ride the last three plus years for the show and for different people involved. I'd be curious to hear, because uh, everybody has different experiences in terms of when it happened, some of you in terms of when you came on the show, if there was a moment that you recall when you realized this is really something special, be it the people you're working with or the, one of the fans, just something where that was kind of the moment when, wow, this changed. The moment, oh. <laughs> the moment I stepped into the audition and met you two. Oh. I was like, regardless of what happens, this is gonna be something so cool. Two women like that, are you kidding me? <laughs> like. Yeah, the, the second you two just started talking, though, I knew it was over. And then we sat and ate quiche for like two hours and just like... Apparently I had spinach in my teeth and you didn't tell me! <laughs> I don't remember that! I don't remember that! <laughs> it's not true! <laughs> Such an older sister. Such an older sister, you know? <laughs> Could you just let me just continue thinking about it? Yes, I, I gave you the role because I felt so sorry for you. Because there was spinach in your teeth and like, no. So did you find it when you got back to like your hotel or something? She didn't have it! <laughs> Besides 
spinach gate, <laughs> what was the moment you knew it was Well, okay, I'll tell my Tim story now. Oh, uh, good idea. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Tim, I Call back. Um, the, uh, I think when we started airing, I mean, listen, I knew it was special before this, but I have to work Tim yeah. into this. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, we were in, we were at WonderCon in the hotel, and for some reason, it was just Tim and I left in the city, and so we got cheesecake and sat on the hotel bed and started tweeting, and we were like, oh, like two people are gonna, and then it, like, there was, there was action, like there was action. <laughs> um, and I'm sure, like at the time, like nothing like now, but at the time it seemed bananas, like it was a lot more than I thought, and I was just like, oh my god, I think people get it. Like, I think people, I think we found our people. <laughs> like, what are the odds? <laughs> and so we were just sitting there going like, my, my feed is scrolling. Is your feed scrolling? <laughs> but yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> you guys have a specific moment? About Tim? No. no. <laughs> well, Tim, Tim texted me back, since this uh, panel's about Tim. <laughs> and, and he wrote, I'm watching you text me right now. I couldn't hear anything over the screams. I loved your answers, all of you. You people are beautiful. I wish I was there. Erper for life. Uh. That's Tim. Uh, the question is, when you knew like, it When you knew it was... Yeah, when you kind of knew this was this, this was going to be this, or this was something like this? really special, and yeah. any this special just kind of a moment when you realize this isn't just another job. My first convention when I met all of you, that was mine, because work work for an actor. We we go, we shoot it, we go home, we move on to the next job, and we do that, and we move on to the next, and then I came out and I met you guys, and I, I think that was Dragon Con. Yeah, that one was a big one for me. That oh, was my you. first. You know, you guys have been doing it for a while, and I was like, what's going on? And you guys had to pull me aside, you're like, yeah, this is it, this is what's happening. <laughs> and I'm like, you know their names. And I'm like, yeah, that's how loyal they are, because you guys keep coming back. Now, I've only done a few of these, but I remember your guys' names, and I've seen your faces. And it's like, you guys keep coming back, and I've never seen that. And I've been acting for 20 years, and worked on many things, and I've never been a part of a project that has been like this. Ever. Ever. Never. Still, still, I, I, it's still, it's, it's the best uh, show I've ever been on. In, uh, in like such a funny way, it hit me today, it, like more so than it ever has that we're off the air. And for there, now. No, for now, for now. But like, there, there are more people than ever watching the show and that we're bringing more people into this like beautiful bubble of kindness and caring and understanding and unity and diversity. It's, it's insane, like this, the show itself is a movement and I like kind of saw it today because we're not even airing and, and it's still going on and it's one of the like mo the most inspirational things I've ever got to witness. So thank you so much for this week. I got the part because I had been watching the show because I know Mel and know Kat <laughs> and I knew Michael and I knew Nat Krill and I don't know I just was like wow this is insane like this is so awesome and then every audition I got for it I was like oh is this the one and then I found out that it was Danny's sister and I was like this is the one <laughs> <laughs> thanks Emily oh, thank you Yeah, I, I've had so many. One of the ones I often talk about is when we screened at WonderCon and you guys saw it for the first time. Just the look on your faces that you were like, this is a real thing. I hope it was okay, but I was so proud of that moment and I just thought if we find people who get it, these guys are gonna be huge. They're so wonderful and they're so good in this. Um, 
but I will tell you, I don't know how I will ever top the moment of walking the red carpet for the PCAs. <laughs> Too, to be with these beautiful people who I love and to know we had this kind of army behind us who had done this for us like it's hard to be worthy of that but also just feel like I guarantee you no one else on that carpet knew that we had thousands of people who loved us and shared this with us and I don't even know how to explain that to other people that feeling and um, that was actually pure joy and everyone should have a moment of joy like that in their life so I truly hope you do. We do have one item that we need to share. I think if Beth can come up here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> different Beth, different Beth. All right, Laura Innes and Don. So we have a gift for Emily. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I so have a punch in the face because I can't cry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this actually stems from an idea from uh, Maya499, who commented on one of Laura's posts. This is our commitment and our promise to you that as long as you are all in. I'm always in. I'm all in. We are too. So this is for you. Oh, my God. This is everyone that we could get to sign this oh that is guys. here. Wow. many checks with your signatures. Um, listen, I say this all the time, but I appreciate it so much, but this belongs to all of us. You know that, right? This is our show, team effort. We all built it. I just have to write the thing. So thank you so much, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you. Speaking for everyone in this room and around the world, we all love you folks. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just thank you. Guys, I'm sure we'll see you soon with good news, okay? Let's keep going. So we will have the closing ceremonies right after the cast leaves, so don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back. There's a video to kick that off, and then Bonnie and I will be right back. So to thank Kevin, you. Kevin, who has done so much for this family. I promise. <laughs> I love you. 